Disabled people face many barriers when trying to enter the workplace. In the UK, there are over 11 million registered people with a long-term illness, impairment or disability. Statistics show there are less than 1% of people with a disability working in the media industry. But how are media platforms helping disabled people into work? We're open to anybody to get involved in our service. So, um, you know, disabled people, anybody in our community is welcome to get involved. So, um, it, it's, it's an all-inclusive approach, really. There's no barriers to, to anybody getting involved. Uh, and that could include sort of cultural barriers, age barriers, um, anything. So, we, we like to, um, you know, just uh, welcome everybody with open arms and hopefully they can all uh, lend the support to what we're doing here and uh, we can um, help them gain some access to media services. I think that uh, it, it's important that radio is a, a non-visual medium, so um, people aren't immediately judging you on your appearance. According to the Government Office for Disabilities, disabled people are three times more likely not to hold any qualifications than a non-disabled person and around half as likely to hold a degree level qualification. In 2014, it was reported only 14.9% of working disabled people hold a degree level qualification compared to 28.1% of non-disabled. I spoke to a disabled photography student on taking her next steps. The majority of the faculty buildings are not very accessible and where they are accessible, they are isolating for a young disabled person. That is the big issue for me at the moment. It's very demoralising as I'm getting unconditional offers, but I can't get into university physically. I find it so annoying that in 2016, my disability, or rather the inaccessibility of society, is restricting and dictating my options for the future. I have a skill and somewhat of a talent that I can do irrespective of my disability but the logistics of the outside world are preventing me from succeeding. We try our best to, to accommodate the needs, even though the building isn't always that adaptable. Um, we, we do have um, a studio downstairs um, that people can use, where we've got um, um, mobile recording desks, mobile equipment that they can use, and also laptops and um, iPads, some things like that. Uh, we've got a classroom up the stairs, unfortunately, can be a bit of a problem. So, but it, it's not a problem trying to give this equipment to them in other parts of the building. People with disabilities and disfigurements have to work harder than non disabled people to get their foot on the career ladder. Media forms are still inaccessible to disabled people, and disabled people are underrepresented both in terms of employment and portrayal in the media. So, how is Channel 4 trying to combat this issue? So Channel 4 launched the 360 degree diversity chart in 2015 and basically what it was, it was our statement of intent to completely revolutionise and improve the diversity across everything that Channel 4 does. Um, in 2016 we launched an update of the charter, so we did a one year on document which kind of showed how we were progressing against all of our targets and showed that we were doing really well but there were also some areas that we really sort of still needed to focus and improve on, one of which was um, representation of people with disabilities. And that's why 2016 is going to be the year of disability at Channel 4, where we're really sort of setting our stake on improving our work, portraying people with disabilities on screen, off screen and in the channel. Uh, we're really excited actually to be moving into a completely new building. Um, it's part of a school that opened up um, just a few years ago in Doncaster that's um, right next to the Keep Up Stadium where Doncaster Rovers play. Um, and uh, it, we, we don't have to adapt the, uh, the building to our radio station this time around. Um, we've actually gone in there and um, looked at it ourselves and decided where everything's going to be and, and designed the rooms around that. So that's really great and that, that will um, bode well for disabled access which is great news for us, um, especially as, uh, we, as we struggle so much with this really old Victorian building and adapting it to people's needs. I'm working in Film 4. I want to be a director. I've seen two different scripts and they're both fantastic. But I can't tell you anything about that. I would definitely recommend work experience for anyone that's interested in working in TV or the media generally, because you really need to see the real world compare that with education and get that perspective. Although it is clear the media industry is changing, it is evident that much work is still needed. People with disabilities just want to be given an opportunity to prove that they can bring value and diversity to the workplace. People with disabilities have dreams, they have goals and they are abled.